Let's talk disclosure. First and foremost, how does Four Guys Guns make money? Well, over the past 10 years, we've been working within the firearms industry for a wide variety of companies, doing a lot of the things that none of you know about by design. We provide photography, videography, design, patches, consultation, a wide range of services, and we make roughly $300 a month off of our 300-ish YouTube videos. It might be a quarter, I'm not sure. Things have been weird over the past year. Our promise and guarantee to you, the viewer or fan, that we have never nor will we ever take money for a video review. We tried once, and lesson learned. That hot dog Sabo out of a can cannon was pretty cool though. Wiener Sabo. <laughs> we will also not accept or utilize a sponsorship from a company or product directly related to or associated with the product that we are reviewing. That's just ethics. Certain reviewers have done a great job at keeping things like that nice and clean and ethical, and while I hate the fact that we kind of have to say all this stuff to you, apparently it's necessary for you chuckleheads. See, when you're on both sides of the game, managing social media and marketing consultation, etc., you know who's paid for, and you know who is legitimate. You know who is an actual shooter, and you know who is an entertainer. We know who the smart people are is, and their businesses, brand, and believe it or not, their ethics. We mention brand because, well, we know based on analytics, metrics, and commentary that many of you are here for one or multiple of three different reasons. One, entertainment. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I can't tell you how many hours I've been lost in the feed. Two, genuine research. You're interested in buying something, you've already bought something, you broke something, you want to fix something. Or three, confirmation bias. You either want to hate it and you need proof that it sucks, you want to love it and you need proof that it's good, or you just need to confirm whatever bias you already have. So yes, we mentioned we know who's paid for and who's not. No, we're not going to name names. All of you are whores for drama and even if I did tell you, you wouldn't believe me. It doesn't even matter. I'm not trying to kill anyone's paycheck or how they put food on the table for their family. I'm not trying to shoot myself in the foot. There would be too many hurt feelings. Too many hurt feelings for you and so many lost relationships and acquaintances for me. And believe it or not, that indirectly hurts not just them or me, but inevitably it will hurt you. You just need to realize that whoever your favorite reviewer channel or TikTok or Snapchat or whatever it is, that is that you're watching it it's checking a box for you on one or more of those three things why even bother being honest with yourself it's just the internet with that being said it doesn't mean we're going to avoid or not do a video uh, based on a product from some of the cool stuff and companies we have worked with or clients or partners things like that we simply will not offer any kind of opinion on reliability safety or if you should spend your money on these products if someone sends me a three thousand dollar piece of gear i'm gonna play with it wouldn't you wouldn't you take pictures of it wouldn't you take videos of it wouldn't you share it to all your friends and post to your feeds hell yeah so don't be a hypocrite. Just because you're watching my channel instead of your own just kind of explains it all. If you think that because somebody sent me something that I'm going to lug around all the lights, the mics, the cameras, put ammo down range, range membership, uh, sit there and edit it for hours on time, because somebody gave me a rifle, I got bad news for you. People have given us a lot of crap you've never seen, which that's another little side note for you manufacturers out there. but. That's neither here nor there. Just like every other media outlet, favorite magazine or YouTube you know, guy that you watch, guess what? There's a process. It was either requested that we asked for it or it was requested, can we send to you, or we bought it. That's how this works. Almost everything we have, we've bought or requested, just like every other publication out there. In the end, if you made it this far, this video is not about how honest or transparent we are or how honest or transparent we're trying to make you believe we are. This is our disclosure to you, our fan or viewer or follower. We actively seek and go to training. We don't do these reviews from behind a desk and put five rounds down range at a range day. That's not how this happens. We've been doing this for over a decade at this point. We give our opinions and experiences on the product we got to play with and try and show angles and views and express and explain feelings on how things are because we get to do a lot of cool stuff that a lot of other people don't and we appreciate every fan or follower of the channel. and. Whatever your reason for being here, we don't really care. What you do on the internet alone is your business. Am I right or am I right? I do apologize if this comes off whiny or preachy, but a year off has really given me some perspective on the viewership, and not just mine, but everyone's. So stick around, uh, watch some cool videos. If it's not your cup of tea, that's fine. Just know that this isn't my livelihood. We will continue to be doing stuff for you, the consumer, for us, as a company, within the firearms industry to mold it for the better. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. 
Sorry.